and let's go to my pages. So all we're going to do is we're going to build audiences around these pages, custom audiences. So we can start tracking not by name and number, right? Not by the actual name of the individual who landed on that page. Um, unless it's a lead, like you'll have that lead in Kartra. But as far as the data that Facebook is collecting, they're just putting all these visitors in a, in a, in a group, in an audience. And so we want to be able to, you know, track the most important pages um, for advertising. So let's go to, it's going to be, which ones it's going to be, it's going to be the opt-in. So scroll down, we'll do the opt-in. We'll do the thank you page. And then we're going to do the pixel is on everything else. See, it, there's two things that are going on. The pixel is on the page first. That's already on the page. The pixel is what's allowing Facebook to track it. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go even more deeper. We're going to actually give them a specific link to track and we're going to name that link. So for example, the book opt-in, we're going to tell Facebook, whoever lands on this page is a website visitor. And then whoever lands on the thank you page is a lead. We're going to name that in Facebook. Like, so, so now those, like just those two pages alone, the book opt-in and the thank you page, the, just those two pages alone are, are the most important because those who land on the book opt-in, but don't opt in, that's an audience that I want to continue to retarget ads to. The people who actually opt in, they go to the book opt-in, they put their name and email, they go to the thank you page. People that specifically land on that thank you page are leads. We need to tell it to Facebook. And then, and then again, the, 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 just the overall benefit or the advantage that we have by, by specifically setting that up as a custom audience, thank you page leads. The reason why that's so important to be set up as a custom audience is because that's the audience we'll be excluding from future ads. One, the book opt-in I'm including, and I'm going to always retarget those because those are people that are landing, but they just didn't, they didn't fill out the form. So let's get back in front of them, right? Those are visitors that will always want to retarget. And then the thank you page will be visitors who, you, who you'll always want to exclude. Because if they've already downloaded your seller guide, they don't need to keep seeing your ads, right? Okay. So, that, okay. I'm sorry. So the ones that we're excluding that have um, opted in, Mm -hmm. Now, let's say, for instance, you have me kind of creating these weekly seller content videos. Mm -hmm. Would those go to those who have already opted in or would they no longer be seeing any sort of, of um, ad campaign from me ever in the future? Very, very good question. It's totally up to you to show whoever, whatever. But if you're focused on, on, on putting out weekly video ads talking about, hey, download my seller guide. Mm -hmm. and people have already downloaded your seller guide, they don't um, need to be seeing that ad. Well, so, what I did was kind of from something that you had suggested, which is basically create the content first, you mm -hmm. know, so when I, you know, the first part of the video is content driven. It's something yep. specific to sellers or I'm educating. Mm -hmm. But when I close out is when I say, you know, if you like these tips, you know, then yes. and, um, I have a 2021 for sale by owner seller guide, which you can learn more. Da, 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 da. So I kind of have that close. It's kind of like my close out mm -hmm. call to yeah. action. Oh yeah. So it's not really upfront. It's kind of like after you've set through a video, you like the yep. content, you like my tips and, and you know, then yep. here's a, do you, do you still feel like that is kind of redundant though? Cause I don't want to no. be blowing money. No, no, not at all. Because again, that's, that's what we're doing here. These custom audiences are including or excluding the type of person that it's the most relevant to. So if I already opted in, I won't be seeing any ads. Okay. If I haven't opted in, I can continue to see ads. So if I land on your book opt-in page, but I don't opt in, keep showing me ads, retarget me. You're going to have me in an audience. Mm -hmm. those who land on the thank you page they're already leads now you need to exclude me i shouldn't All be right. seeing no more ads like you said yeah it's not need for ads now this is where you're building basically you're taking it from online to offline now you're building that relationship where now it's it's a personal whether i'm calling i'm emailing direct yes. or whatever i'm spending time converting yes. that lead yes because but not it, through ads because that it, makes sense yes because now Again, the people who land on the thank you page, they will no longer see ads anymore because we're going to, we're going to physically and manually exclude them. We're going to put them in, in their own custom audience. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to exclude them from seeing future ads because again, those are people who've already opted in. They're mm -hmm. on my email list. 
So any information, any video, whatever, I can just email it to them. I don't need to run an ad to them. Right. Gotcha. Right. right. But, but the people who haven't landed on, that's why we're going to get, we're going to get very specific as we go and set it up in Facebook. It's going to be very specific. These are people who landed on a very specific link. So, so we're going to be able to name that audience and, and again, really manage our ads that way, segment them that way, show our next ad to the most relevant audience that way by knowing who we're targeting, by knowing who landed on pages and who didn't. Gotcha. You know what I mean? But again, yeah, those who've already opted in, email them. They don't need, they don't need to see ads. Yeah, um, that makes sense. I guess I was just kind of, yeah, like I said, I mean, you've mm -hmm. explained it. And there's no sense to, to, to go back and, and revisit. I mean, it was well delivered. Um, I guess my question is, I hope that I have put my pixels <laughs> on all of these email sequences. Mm -hmm. Was I supposed to have done that? I think I did, but yeah, we can, we can always double check. Um, okay, we can do that later or in fact, whatever. you know what, let me, um, let it, may me... be, it may be something easier that you could do maybe. Yeah. Versus... Yeah. I can, I can, I could, I could check that for sure. I could check that for sure. Um, did you download the Facebook pixel helper? Did I have you download that? I think you did. did See, you... check your profile picture in the top, right? No, not, oh, not over there. Don't, don't, don't leave this page in the top, right? There's... Yeah. To the very left of that, that little hammer looking thing, click on that. Okay. Yeah. You don't have it. Okay. So open up a new tab, open up a third tab and just go to, um, go to Google and then just right here in the middle. Yeah. In the search type in, um, Facebook pixel helper. You'll see it right there. Bam. Install this. This is free. Um, click on, yeah, click on, actually go down. No. It should be, it should be a Google Chrome. Yeah, that Chrome one. This yeah. one? Yeah, grab that one. Okay, so install this real quick. This is free. This will sit up here at the top right there by your profile picture. Um, and then um, Do this I just right, here, right here. Yeah, add to Chrome. This um, right here, add extension. This is just how you test your pics, how you test your pages, how you test your pages. Um to see if that page has a pixel on it. So go ahead and go to Kartra, grab a link real quick, grab any oh, any page. David, wait a minute. Why does it say turn on sync? Am I supposed to do something here? No, just X out. That's fine. Okay. Just, um, okay. yeah, that so, but let's pin it so it, it shows up here. So go back to that hammer looking thing next to your profile. <clears throat> yeah, and then just pin it. Yeah, hit that little pin. There you go. Perfect. So now I'll set up there. Okay, so now when you're on a page, that does not, this is a page, you're on a Kartra page, you're in Kartra right now, this is a tab, this is a page, we're on a page right now, this mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. When you're on someone's page, it doesn't have to be yours, website, any website you're on, whatever, it could be any page. When you're on a page and that little icon in the top right is shaded gray, that's mm -hmm. how you know they don't have a pixel on you. But when that thing lights up, you yeah, could be on yeah. someone else's website, you can go to ESPN.com, you can go anywhere online. And when that thing lights up, you know that they're pixeling you. I don't That's care. You did that. You, you showed me, but I didn't know how you were reading that um, icon image. You had said yeah. that before you were showing me through some other sponsored ads and you were like, yeah, they've got their pixels on me. But yeah, I didn't yeah. know how you were reading. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I got excited. I, I don't, I don't care who's <laughs> pixeling me. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't, I don't care about none of that privacy. I don't care about none of that. No, I only have that up there to test my pages. So for mm -hmm. example, click on the three dots and get the code on any of them. Click on finale, oh. step six, whatever. Click on the three dots, get the okay. code get the code and then and then just get this link copy this link and, and just open it up in a new tab and so this right here is why i install that little helper thing so i can test my pages so right away your little icon thing lit up it's blue with the number two in it so okay. click on that that fix facebook pixel hopper this right here will let you know if your pixel is installed it is installed because it lit up but then when you click on it you see your name Next step, realtor. Yep. That's your pixel. So yeah. that's why I have that thing up there so I can test my pages and make sure my pixels on there correctly. I don't care about anyone else tracking me. You know what I mean? So, nice. so yeah. So, cool. so your pixels on that page for sure. Yeah. Hopefully they're on all the other ones. Okay. Um, and the ones we'll, we'll really do watch scroll down. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll do, we'll do custom audiences around, around three pages. It's the opt-in page, the okay. thank you page, and the call confirm page. So so even with the call confirm page, again. Um, did you do this? You can re-edit it. It's, it's not a big deal. Like you can you can edit it for sure. But the link, get the get, click the dots and go to get code or link. Let's make sure the link is customized. 
Okay. We want to make sure all these links are customized. That's yeah. what you were supposed to do is customize all the links. I didn't put that there. Yeah, I know. That's the default link. So, okay, so cool. hit the pencil and customize this link. That, that was your homework last time. No, click the drop down, go to your link. Yeah. So we just need these links customized. Um, Let me call, what is this called? Confirmed? Call confirmed. Okay. So call confirmed, ED. Oh. Yeah. So this is the page that they'll okay. land on. Um, okay. So now take this link, open it up in a new tab. You always want to do that right away so Facebook can read that page for the first time. They can read that link. We want to make sure that our pixel is on it, which in this case, our pixel is not on it. Right. So, so that thing didn't light up in the top right. Right. Uh -uh. It shaded gray. So, you know, your pixel's not on it. So, you'll need to install your pixel on this page. So, let's okay. just go to, um, go back to Kartra, close this out. Why don't you just go back to the finale one? Go back or go to, yeah, go to the finale one, click on the three dots, go into edit and just grab the pixel from there. Oh, well. so, yeah, we'll click on edit and go add it here. So, the reason why this call confirmed page is so important. Um, and then category, you have it in no category. I actually, that one's fine. That one doesn't have to be in category, this, this specific call confirm page. But the reason why this is so important for, for Facebook, for our ads, because just like the thank you page. So, so those who land on the thank you page are leads. I'm going to have them in a custom audience. I'm going to name it seller guide leads, and I'm going to exclude that audience from seeing future ads. Same thing with call confirmed. If a person's already scheduled an appointment with me, they don't need to keep seeing my ads. So I'm gonna also create a custom audience around around this page. Go ahead and just delete that whole thing and just, just do it again. Yeah, I just felt like that was odd because there is a pixel in there. Perfect, apply. And then now we'll have to actions, save progress, publish live. So with this page, again, the reason why this is so important is because if, if you've already scheduled an appointment with me, you don't need to keep seeing ads because I already have your email. So if there's any message I need to get over to you, I'll email it to you. I don't need to run an ad to you. Now, again, what I'm saying regarding this, yeah, go ahead and open it up. Let Facebook read that pixel. Hit the pixel helper. See if that's your pixel. Make sure that says your name, Next Step Realtor. Okay, you're good. So, again, what I'm saying is the thank you page leads exclude the call confirm page exclude. They're going to, these people are going to be, yeah, return to dashboard. These people are going to be in a custom audience. We're going to then exclude them from seeing future ads. Now I'm saying exclude, but it also works on the flip side. Let's say, for example, I actually do want to run an ad to all my leads. Okay. Well then shit, you can do that too. So every lead that has came in, they know me. They opted in. They saw my video. Thank you, page. Blah, blah, blah. They're seeing all my damn emails going out. They're at a video on every damn step. They're seeing me. So if I really wanted to also on the flip side, I can run an ad straight to them. So now I have my, my audience of everyone who, who landed on the, on the thank you page. I have maybe even my audience of everyone who scheduled a call at, because they landed on the call confirm page. If I wanted to, on the flip side, I can even take those two audiences and show them an ad. Hey guys, this is David. Hey, I just wanted to thank you so much for scheduling an appointment with me. I know a lot of you guys that are watching this video. You guys have scheduled an appointment with me or you opted in to download my seller guide. Let me tell you what's going on next, mm -hmm. right? Like I, that could be a very specific message that I actually run to all my leads. So it could work both ways. Like it could work both ways. I can either email them a freaking message or I can sh show up in their damn news feed if I wanted to as well. Mm. But the point is, is that these audiences are segmented. That's what's the most important is I'm able to categorize these people based on actions that they're taking in my funnel. And, and, and that's going to result in my overall ad cost when I run the right ads to people, right? Like that's going to allow you to, to run, you know, ads and not have to break the bank you know, cause now you're targeting the most relevant people and excluding the most relevant people. So, so here, let's just check this real quick. Get the, get the dots for the book opt-in, hit the, click, get the link and then do the same thing for the thank you page. And let's just make sure that these two pages have the pixel. So let's just um, let Facebook read it. Okay, awesome. So check that, click that. Next step, realtor, bam. 
Okay, cool. So we're good there. Leave um, this open. Leave it open. Leave it open. I was just going to ask you, did you want me to leave it open? Yeah, leave it open because we're going to need to grab that link. And then get, do the same for the thank you page and then do the same for the call confirm. Let's just leave all of them open. Let's grab them, open them up okay. in new tabs. Those are the three audiences that we're going to that we're gonna create right now. This is just so genius. Never get so. Custom audiences are what we've been going over this whole time. That's what we're going to do. So go and get, get the call confirm one as well. Custom audiences. We're going to set up three custom audiences. Now, these this is custom audiences around website, around the, the keyword website, which I'll show you where that's at. But that th this is website custom audiences. The other custom audiences that we'll be creating are videos. So just like we, we went over that before, you know, we, we created a custom audience around your video. So that's the other audiences, those are the other audiences that will be, you know, retargeting in the future as well. It's people who land on specific pages and then also those who are watching your videos. Those okay. who you want, who you'll want to continue to retarget. Yeah, so, that's what I want. Yes. Okay. So, so now, now they won't be landing on that, on that. They won't be watched. They won't be seeing future videos if they've landed here or if they landed, if they've already opted in. Right. Okay. So we're going to set all that up right now. We're going to really make sure that, that we're targeting the right people. Okay. So we have these three links up. Now let's go to, let's go to the business settings. Let's go to ads manager. And all we're going to do is click on the dots at the top and we're going to go to audiences. These dots. Yes. We're going to go to audiences and right there to the right. You'll click oh, on audiences. Go. There's so much stuff to look at. <laughs> you have, you have the ads manager folder right there at the top. So, I so that is all you should be clicking on really um, click on that. You have everything saved, right? So you have, yeah, you have everything saved. So um, actually, you know what? Yeah. Custom audiences right there. So yeah, try to try to always go back to the, to the folder just so, yeah. Cause as you're navigating to the damn platform, it could be overwhelming. There's so many th things going on, it is. but if, but those bookmarks right there, I'm telling you, that's all you'll really ever need. Like those bookmarks right there. Okay. So Right here, as again, as we're navigating through the platform, you always want to make sure you're in the right account. So next step, Realtor, that's the right account. So now mm -hmm. we're going to scroll down and let's just minimize this top part right here. In the top right, you see that little drop down for this middle part. No, down, 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 a little, little further. Right there to the right. Oh, this? Yeah. So go ahead and, and yeah, minimize it just a bit. So right here, we have one custom audience and that was the video. So again, we'll be creating custom audiences around those who are watching your videos. And then the other custom audiences are going to be websites around different websites, which are these three specifically. So let's click on create audience, click the blue button to the left, and then we're gonna go down to custom audiences. So custom audience. Okay, so this is gonna be website. And this is really, this is really all you'll focus on is website, video, and maybe customer list, maybe customer list. I have customer list could be like crazy, crazy powerful. I have some clients where they have, they have good relationships with either lead brokers or they'll have good relationships with their title company because their title company has a list of, of every, you know, transaction, every, you know, every freaking homeowner or whatever, like, mm -hmm. Depending on, on if you have a relationship like that with a title company, some of my clients, they do, and they'll get a list from their title company. They'll get a list of everyone who has purchased a home in the last five years or whatever, right? Last year, the last two years, whatever. But they'll get a list of, of, of homeowners. And with Facebook, Facebook is so freaking gangster, man. It's, so, it's such a freaking machine. It's insane. What, what we do with that list of, 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 of homeowners, people that have purchased in this zip code in the last two years, let's say, we could take that email list or that list of people, upload it to Facebook that would be in customer list. And then we tell Facebook, we say, hey, here's a list of a thousand people. Go find me a million more who look just like them. And that... That quote unquote look just like them, that is based on buying patterns, that is based on clicking patterns, that's based on so many different data points. Facebook has thousands of data points on us, they know everything we're clicking on. So, with this list, I'm able to tell Facebook, hey, here's a thousand people that all resemble 
my ideal client. Go and find me a million more. And that's when you just now leverage Facebook. Now you no longer have to put in the interest. You never, you no longer have to target a specific demographic. You can just give this list to Facebook and Facebook will go find you more people that look just like them. It's wow. insane. Like it's absolutely insane. That's customer <laughs> list. So it's website, customer list, and video is where you'll really spend time creating audiences. Video, we did the other one, the intro. That's the one behind this you know, screen here. Now we're going to do website. So let's do website. So click on website. We'll do customer list later on, but right now just website video. That's all we really need to focus on. So click on next. And then now over here, now we're going to start getting specific with these links. So let's start with the opt-in page. Let's go to the opt-in page and, and, and um, click on the link at the top. Yeah. The tab. So this right here, all we're going to do is copy the URL, not the www or the https. Double click it. Double click the link. Yeah. So all you need is the next step dash realtor, like everything to the right. That's all you need on all these. All these that we're gonna do, just remember that. That's all we need. We just need that part. So copy that. Okay. So now go back to face. Go back to yeah. Go back to Facebook. And now you're gonna click on. That's the. We always want to make sure that that pixel, the source, that's your pixel, the green dot. That's your pixel. So we always want to make sure that's the green dot right there, that we see a green dot. That's our pixel. Next step, realtor. And so events, we're going to hit that drop down and we're going to go down to specific. People who visited specific web pages, specific. Go with that one and we'll leave it at 30 days. That's fine. Facebook will start capturing the audience of those who are landing on this page within a 30-day period. So right there below, you see contains and then paste in, leave that paste in the link right there, these values. Yep, paste it in right there. And then you'll always go with the drop down. So as you paste it in, you'll see a drop down. Click the drop down. Always click the drop down, that blue. Click the drop down. Oh, dang it. Hold on. Let no, it's all it. good. It's it's there. But but when you do this, just hit that drop down. There you go. Perfect. You're good. Okay. Again, the keyword today for today's call, the keyword is specific. Like this is specifics. Like we are telling Facebook specific links, name these audiences under specific names. Like we're being specific. So this right here, we're creating an audience of everyone who landed on the website, but have not opted in. So then now what we have to do is scroll down, scroll down a bit right here. And now we're going to tell Facebook, okay, these are people who have landed on that link, but they never landed on the thank you page. So now we're going to click on exclude. We're going to exclude anyone who actually has. If you landed on the thank you page, you ain't on this list, right? So so now I'm going to exclude, I'm telling Facebook, only people who have landed but not opted in. So scroll down. We're going to hit all website visitors. We're going to go specific. We'll leave it at 30. So hit the all website visitors. It's the same as the top. So the events, specific. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to paste in the thank you page and the call confirm page. So go to the thank you page, go to the call confirm page, grab those links, grab just the URL, not the www. So just, no, just that just part right there. there. This is the thank you page. So let's paste this one in. And then we're gonna also paste in, yeah, see, so you grabbed everything. <clears throat> you gotta always double click it. Double click, um, go back, yeah, double, Double click it so it opens up and then just, no, 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 no. Just grab the URL, not the www. Okay, so we're going to grab this one, copy that, paste it in, and we're going to grab the call confirmed and, um, and, and paste that one in as well. I think you might have the dot. Do you have the dot? No, yeah, no you might not have the dot. I'm tripping. I thought you had the dot copied as well. Are you okay? Okay, yeah. So I did. Yeah, I did. It, it keeps I picking it up. It keeps picking it up for some reason. No, you know what? I don't I don't think it is picking it up actually. Okay. Yeah, well. you should be fine. You should be fine. Okay. So again, specifics. Specific. They landed on the website, but they never or, or the opt-in page, but they never landed on those two. So now scroll down, and this is gonna be. Um, um, free FSBO website visitors. 
So is this audience name. name in this? Yep. Audience name. Yep. And, and, and keep it the same as well. Whatever, whatever prefix you're using, whether it's FSBO, like, yeah. So free FSBO um, um, page visitors, page visitors. And then in parentheses, you want to put only. So again, specific. These are only, they've only visited the page. That's all they've done. And then just click create audience and that's it. Now, this is an audience that you'll always want to retarget. Click, click done. That's an audience that you can always retarget because again, they're seeing your ads. They've clicked on it, but they haven't opted in. So get, get back in front of them, show them another ad next week. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's an audience you'll always want to retarget. The intro next step 25%, that's an audience you'll always want to retarget. Again, this custom audience, this is what creates the omnipresence type of vibe. That's when people start seeing you like, holy shit, I keep seeing her in my damn newsfeed. Who <laughs> is this chick? She keeps showing up. I keep seeing her videos. It's like, man, you're only seeing my stuff because you're engaging with my stuff. Mm -hmm. you're, either, you're either watching my videos for 25% or you've clicked on my page before and haven't opted in. Mm -hmm. right so so don't get mad at me because i just know my marketing and i keep showing up in your damn news feed you're the one watching my stuff so you must like something let's do business right right right, right? so it's like it. that's what's going to turn you into a rock star is when you're retargeting that's where that's and this is where everyone drops the ball d like i, I probably mentioned this to you a million a million times but i've spoken to a million realtors okay I, literally a million realtors on this exact topic all damn days since 2016 where 99 percent of the people drop the ball is they'll run an ad, expect leads from it, run an ad, expect leads from it. Maybe they'll run another ad, expect leads from it. When each time, let's say it was three ads over three weeks, let's just say, for example, or, or over a month, whatever, it doesn't even matter. Let's just say they ran three ads, but each ad was set up targeting their local area, which is technically set up starting a new ad every ad is a new ad. What you mm -hmm. should have done, what they should have done is when you run ad number one, go create a custom audience and mm -hmm. then retarget that audience with ad number two. Mm -hmm. When you set up ad number two, go set up a custom audience. And then when you go to ad number three, retarget those who have watched number ad number one, ad number two. Like there's never retargeting. That's what agents don't do. They don't set up custom audiences, which give them the long-term ability to retarget these people and create that omnipresence. People need to see you over and over and over. Don't just, I can't just see one ad and, 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 and click. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't happen that way. Like even <clears throat> as consumers, like you don't just see something random, even if it's the baddest handbag D, like mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it real. Like I know you're all into fashion. I know you are. You be uh -huh. looking good. I know you, I know you. Let's <laughs> say you were looking at shoes or, or handbags or hair products or whatever. And, and even if it is exactly your, your style and your type, and you're like, damn, that handbag is nice. Like, I want that. You still don't be buying stuff right away. Like, unless you're that major impulse buyer, then maybe. Mm -hmm. But the majority of us, we're not hardcore impulse buyers. Like, I can get impulse every now and then, but not on everything. Mm -hmm. So even if I see something, a nice hat, because I'd be wearing hats. If I saw a nice hat on, on a website, I don't just click and buy right away. Mm -hmm. I need to see that hat. If that hat showed up again, and then all of a sudden it's in my it's in my newsfeed, maybe four days later, and now and now they're offering me a discount code if I click an order now. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, then I'm like, holy shit! Okay, cool. Let me let me buy the damn thing. I keep seeing yeah. it, right? Yeah. But if we don't get people to that point, then then you're just you're just a lost lost soul. They don't even remember you. They don't remember that first ad they seen three weeks ago on you, and it was one ad only exactly right so this is where it's all at it's custom audiences you want to start grabbing this data of, of people who are engaging that that's where the retargeting that's where the money's at okay so i'm gonna tell you something i think is really funny you know how i, I work with a lot of clients and a lot of their um how can i say a confirmation of decision making comes from a sign you know 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I, 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 I won't go because I know I'm being recorded. And I, I don't want to start getting you any hate. hate no, it's all good. It's all good. Like Let me know. It's but, all good. <laughs> but, you know, I hate to say that, but, you know, I'm, well, it, you know, if it's meant for me, then, you know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, and, yeah. and how, do, how do they know that by something that they see over and over again? Or, you mm-hmm, know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. even seeing my face, well, you know, I wasn't going to go with an agent, but God, it must be confirmation because I'm right? you, yes, showing up, you yeah, know? Yeah. So it's funny how people will base decisions and a lot of it is through this, you know, abstract, you know, give me a sign type of yep. uh, mindset. And, you, and it's funny how you can tailor your marketing to kind of speak right into that type of yes. impulse. That yes. is funny. Yes. <laughs> that is really funny. That, um, the other thing is, so when I run these ads, is this something that I need to be coming into my um, custom audience no. for in setting up the next ad? for the same way? Well, no. Well, once we set up these these custom audiences, then they're already set. And, okay. and, and so now it's when we go and run the ad, we'll be able to choose. So when you go run an ad and you choose the location you want to target, mm-hmm. you, cho- you choose the budget you want to set, mm-hmm. right? You choose the keyword you want to use. I want to target people who have an interest in this, people who have an interest in that, right? So as we go and set up the ad, that's where we can put these audiences. Okay. So, so we'll be able to click and we'll be able to see free FSBO page visitors only. We'll be able to see intro next step. Like we'll be able to see that as we're setting up the ad, we'll have the ability to choose these audience or to exclude these audiences from that one specific ad. Like we'll, mm-hmm. that's all in the setup okay. of the ad, which which we'll get to on our, on our next call. So so now let's do the, now let's do the, the, go to the thank you page. Go to the thank you page. Let's set up that one real quick. So the thank you page, this right here, copy that. And now- mm-hmm. Yep, just Copy that where right it's there. highlighted or what? Just that. Yep, just that. It's always just that. So now go back to Facebook and this audience is going to be leads. So hit the blue button, create audience, go to custom audience. Yeah. <clears throat> this one is going to be FSBO leads. So website. Yeah. And then next, and then um, just go ahead and, and hit that all website visitors, hit that events drop down, go to specific, leave it at 30 and just paste in that um, contains, paste in that value right there, hit the drop down, just choose the blue one, and that's it. So scroll down, this right here is FSBO leads. Oh, in the description? Uh, audience name, nope, audience name. No. Oh. So just name it, These, this is a very specific audience, these are my leads, this is an audience of my leads. What'd you say, FSBO leads? Yeah, you could, you could, yeah. I was just trying to remember what you said. Yeah. I'm trying to take in so much. Okay. FSBO leads. Um, and then, and then what we'll do also is go to create audience. Okay. And why don't we do this too? Go click done. Um, scroll down. Let's look for that audience real quick. And just, um, actually, I think it was that first. I'm so sorry. Scroll back up. It was that first. Yeah. Right there. The leads check that box to the left. Let's add one more link in there. Um, this? yeah. Click on edit. And again, the keyword today is specific. So this right here, what I want to do is I want to set it up where this is an audience of everyone who landed on the thank you page, but they never landed on the call confirm page. Again, Mm -hmm. specific. These are leads only. They haven't scheduled an appointment with me yet. So scroll down. We're going to exclude. So we're going to click exclude and we're going to exclude the call confirm page. So go to the call confirm page at the top, copy the link, and that's going to go in there. So let's exclude all website visitors. Go to specific. Hold on. Nope. I'm Above. Above. All website visitors. Down. I'll put it in nope, here. Nope, 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 no. Down. Excluding. <laughs> Excluding. So right here, this is the exclude part. So the, the events, in the events, click the drop down. All you're doing is doing the same as the top. So it's specific. Oh, sorry. And scroll down and then just paste in that call confirm page. And so in the in the audience name, in the description of the name, scroll down. Why don't we just name it um, in parentheses only, only. That means they haven't scheduled an appointment. They're only leads. They haven't scheduled an appointment. Okay, mm-hmm. so you want to keep that in mind. Or, or in the parentheses, you could put haven't scheduled appointment. You could put whatever the hell makes makes it you know better for you to, to, to remember this stuff. But only is only leads like they haven't moved on to the next part and that's how you should look at it there's 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 levels to this you come into mm-hmm. my opt-in page you opt in you download my seller guide the next step 
as I take you to the, to the next level, that's when you schedule an appointment with me, right? So that's how these audiences could be set up too. So FS, FSBO leads, yep, only haven't scheduled an appointment. Yeah, take away the word only, take away only. Yeah, yeah. so in parentheses, haven't scheduled appointment. Perfect, uh, update audience. Okay, so now let's create our last audience around hit done. So click the blue button, create audience, custom audience. Let's create this last one of appointments. So website, and then let's go to, um, let's go to um, all website visitors specific, and then um, go ahead and get the call confirm page, our link. Okay, cool. And then, um, and then paste that in right there. Okay, perfect. So scroll down and then the audience name, I would, I would name it appointments. And it's not just FSBO appointments, actually. These, these are people who, who, whoever the hell landed there, like any appointment, like that's what this mm -hmm. is actually. Right. So appointments. So create audience. Do I need to do anything here? No, there's no one to exclude. Just, um, okay. yeah, just, that's fine. Uh, audience of, of just appointments. So again, in the future, you can choose to target that audience or you can, again, choose to exclude mm -hmm. that audience. Mm -hmm. Okay, of appointments. So those are your main, main, main audiences in your in your in your business are people who scheduled appointment leads and those who've just opted in or, or those who've just landed on the opt in but haven't, you know, opted in. Those are your three audiences. So now what we got to do real quick is we have to set up a custom conversion, a custom conversion is based on based on your thank you page. So as we run ads, uh, go ahead and, and, and close out the call confirm tab at the top and close out the Facebook pixel helper. Let's just leave open the, um, the Facebook pixel helper tab. Okay. Yeah, close out that one. So go to your opt-in page. Okay, so you got your opt-in page link, right? That's forward slash download free seller guide. That's that link. As you run Facebook ads, we're gonna let Facebook know about that link, right? We're gonna say, okay, Facebook, when people click on learn more, take them there. That's when Facebook knows about this link. Mm, so it, it's okay. set up as a custom audience. Our pixel is on it. We're going to give the link to Facebook when we set up the ad. Okay. When they click learn more, they go here, but the type of ad we're running, the type of ads we will be running for lead capture is conversions. So with a conversion ad, that's the type of ad where we are telling Facebook our ultimate goal. So when you're running an ad, what is the ultimate goal? Is the ultimate goal to get people here or is the ultimate goal to get people to the thank you page? Well, for me, it's to get them here. No, it's not here. Well, that's not your ultimate goal. That's your well, goal. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you're right. You're right. You're sorry. You said ultimate goal. And I guess I was thinking, yeah. what do I want them to link to as far as? Yes. The um, goal is to get them here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. yeah, not the I technical understand. side of it all, not the clicking, not the technical side of everything, just the overall s philosophy and the overall strategy and the overall mindset and just the overall goal. Our goal is to, yeah, get them here. But our ultimate goal is to get them yeah. to the next page. So open <laughs> yes. up the next tab, click okay. on the tab at the top, schedule your free. Our ultimate goal is to get people here. here. Yeah. That's what we got to tell Facebook. Again, today's word is specific. It's specific. So when we go run a Facebook ad, we are very specific. We're telling Facebook, hey, man, I am only willing to pay you if you can get me people here. Mm. This is my ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the thank you page. Yeah, they got to get to there and click learn more. Yes, they, they got to get there. But I ain't paying you for that. I'm paying you to get me people here. Yeah. And I guess I was thinking about it as far as, you know, giving them the product that I've promised, you know what I mean? The learn more is where I'm telling you to click in order to get the download. Yes. So that's how I was processing it. It was yeah, like, that's but, the goal is to well, get them to that download page, but you're right. No, my ultimate goal for this whole marketing, you know, strategy is obviously to, to get leads, to get business. So that to is get the them here, to get them here, to get them okay. here, to get them here. That's, that's the, that's the goal to get them here. Because mm -hmm. if I can get people here, then everything else takes, take, take, takes, you know, everything else play, um, falls into place. I got to get people to land here. And so mm -hmm. that's what we're going to tell Facebook. So copy this link right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the, to the Facebook ads manager. We're going to go 
click on the dots in the top left and we're going to go to business settings. We're going to set up our custom conversion. So go to business settings and then to the left, you'll scroll down and I believe it might be under data sources. Okay. Um, scroll down to the left and you see data sources. Click on that. I'm pretty sure it's in this one. Yeah. So custom conversions. Okay, cool. So again, all we're doing is telling Facebook our ultimate goal is to get them to that page and we have to set it up. So click on the blue one, add, and then um, create a new custom conversion. And then we're going to simply take that link. We'll, so we'll scroll down and let's just hit create the blue button. And then we're going to, we're going to name the conversion. So this could be the same FSBO leads, just like you name the other, the custom audience. So you got custom audience and you got custom conversion. The custom conversion is only the thank you page. Um, in your, in your case, only the thank you page we need to really focus on. Oh, do you want me to put only in there? No, no, only doesn't have to oh, this is just, <laughs> this is, this is the name of our custom conversion. So as we go and set up our ad, we're going to also link this as well when we set up the ad, which I'll show you how to do later. But so okay. now we, we named it FSBO leads. That's our custom conversion. The data source is next step realtor. That's the pixel. And then all URL traffic, you can leave that click on select your own category, the blue one, select your own category. So we're telling Facebook that the people who land on this page hit the recommended, the drop down. We're going to call these ones, no oh. recommended. We're going to call these ones lead. So scroll down, look for the word lead and you'll click on that one. Okay. So now we're going to paste in that URL right there. Okay. Create. That's it. That's our custom conversion. Now what we have to do first real quick, we got to do a couple steps real quick, but hit done. And then now what we'll do is we'll refresh this page or unless it's still thinking, but go ahead and try refreshing it. And now we got to just activate the conversion. So we set it up. Now go ahead and click on, um, click on connected assets or click on add assets. Click on, click on add to the very, very right. So now we're in the custom conversion. Click on add assets. Oh, right here. Yeah. And so now you can just add right here, this ad account, go ahead and click on the, the circle to the right of next step realtor, click on that and then add. Okay, good. We're good there. So hit done. And then let's just double check, click on add accounts to the left. Let's just double check. We have to add anything over here. Add accounts. I'm getting lost. Add accounts right there to the left. Add accounts. Down. Oh, right here. Yeah, add accounts. <clears throat> okay, so okay, so we're good there. Um, yeah, we're good here. So now, now what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll scroll down, click on the data sources, go um, click on click on pixels. Let's just double check our pixel real quick. We should be fine over here. Yeah. Okay. So it's tied to you. Click on um, click on add assets to the right. Yeah, add assets. And just add that right there, the add account, <laughs> click on that. Yeah, that's, it's already added, but let's just do it again. Click on add. Okay, good. We're good. Okay, so now, now go to your folder at the top, the ads manager bookmark folder, and then go to custom conversions. Go to it from here. Okay, so now all we have to do is we may just have to refresh um, our page, our Karcher page, our thank you page. Let me double check real quick. Okay, so you see it inactive right there. Mm -hmm. So now what we got to do is we got to activate it. So go to your schedule call, schedule free call page now. Go to the thank you page and then refresh this page. Okay, now go to, um, go to, click on the pixel helper in the top right. <coughs> okay, per perfect. So you see your pixel, but then you also see your custom conversion. You named it FSBO leads. Mm -hmm. So there is that. So now go back to the events manager tab and refresh this page. Okay. So oh, now this yeah. should go active. <laughs> What's that? I was just saying, please be active. Yes, it should be active. It's active on the page. So it should be active over here as well. Okay, perfect. So you're good. You're good. So now there's a couple more steps that we need to do real good quick. Gracious. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but click on the three dot or the dots to the left and go to events manager. Over here. Yeah. 
So we're going to go to events manager, that one right there, click on that one. And this is the newest, newest update with Facebook and Apple. So this is just, this is next level stuff right here that I'm going to show you to do real quick. So that's the pixel. Click on diagnostics right there in the middle. You see the number one nice. diagnostics, click on that. And then to the right, click on these dots to the right, scroll down a little bit. Right there, those, right those dots. Yeah, click on those and just click on ignore. Okay. Okay. So now click on settings right there, settings, and then scroll down. And all we're going to do is we're looking for traffic permissions. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. A um, little further, a little further, a little further. Um, keep going. Traffic permissions. Okay, right here. So go ahead and scroll down and click on allow list. Create allow list. Create allow list. Yeah, click on that to the left. Create allow list. Click on that, the words. Oh, the words. Sorry. Okay, so we got this over here. So so let's... Um, okay, so those are all allowed... Those are all allowed. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. So that's your that's your domain right there. Okay, cool. So close this out. Okay. And then now all we're going to do is click on overview right there in the middle overview. And then right here, we're going to scroll down just a bit and we're going to click on right here, right here, right here. We're going to click on aggregated event measurement. Click on that one. Aggregated event measurement. And then configure web events, the blue one. And then over here, the domain verified. This is the newest update with Facebook. This is the Apple iOS update with Facebook, where mm -hmm. now Facebook yeah. needs to <clears throat> needs to now we already verified the domain, but now we got to connect it to the custom conversion. So click on domain verified. Mm -hmm. And then manage events. And then to, and then go ahead and click on the blue one, edit. And then to the right, you're gonna click on the green one, add event. And then over here. Click on that drop down. Sometimes this might take a few minutes, but let's see. Down. Yeah, hit the drop down. Okay, so go to custom conversion. Mm -hmm. And then to the right, choose an event. Bam, FSBO leads. Click on that and you're good. So click the blue button to the very, very right, submit. And then check this yes box. Yes, I understand these changes. Mm -hmm. And that's it, D. You are in freaking business. Like you're ready to freaking Great. crush it. So that was custom audiences that's setting up a custom conversion and that's um, updating everything the settings to the new web event configuration which is an Apple iOS update with Facebook so your and shit so, is ready I mean to go. they're always updating the iOS so no that's a one-time thing that was a one-time thing was but, it? It seemed like we had to do something a while ago about an update that they did. But anyway, okay. Cool. Yeah, no, we're good now. We're we're good now. So nice. So next is just to start running ads. I mean, shit, there ain't really nothing else to to the back end of this. Now it's now it just comes down to running running ads. <clears throat> so okay. so I'll book with you. I'll go through your calendar, see what you got open for next week. You asked me a question about the sell by the pro. So I don't think we were going to use it, but I think we were going to be able to put that, put my pixel on it, I believe, just so that I could um, create an audience from it. Is that what you said? I can't remember. No. Um, if, well, what I was really kind of referring to was, was just taking that name and, and creating all your, all your platforms around it. So all your, oh, no. all your social mm -hmm. media icons around it. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, cool. So yeah, mm -mm. I mean, yeah, if you're ever going to use the domain and, and tie it to a Karcher page, then yeah, you'll want to put a pixel, but not this same pixel, maybe, maybe a different pixel, maybe, maybe that's a whole different campaign that you run with that domain, whatever you want to do, you can, you can use it because this domain right here, next step dash realtor that that's already on Karcher pages that's tied to the F FSBO campaign. That pixel is for that domain. <laughs> Okay. You know what I mean? So if anything, you can always use that domain too. We'll just set everything up around that. Its own pixel, its own ad account, its own its own everything. Hmm. Or not. Or you can just take out this one and just start using that one. It's up to you. I mean, no, I don't want to do that. Like I said, the only reason I was setting it up is because I am using HomeSnap as a um, mm -hmm. as an ad man. Well, how can I say it? It it. it create ads for me and yeah, you know if yeah. you step it up of course in your membership you get the whole pro and it gives you a free website and all that so on and so forth um so because i had to either a allow them to give me a free domain which is never interesting i never like for the company who i'm getting yeah, a yeah, yeah. To, to own my domain yeah 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 you're thinking <laughs> so, right so I bought, 
Yeah, so I bought my own, but I was just trying to figure out, I think you had mentioned something I can't really re recollect, which is why, you know, I'm sorry, but I thought you said something about being able to get familiar almost with that traffic like you know whoever's now going to that website because it's, it's going to be a published website you you know it's okay yeah 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 that was going to be driving traffic to it yeah now you can get the traffic from that site and mm -hmm. create an audience through them i, I don't yeah. know Maybe no we could do that for that. sure we could do that for sure all we would do is integrate the domain over here with facebook and then mm -hmm. and then put your pixel this pixel put it on that page that's fine okay and then and then we create a custom audience around everyone who lands there yeah, that's what I was wanting. Yeah, to do. for sure. So all all you need to find out is how to install your pixel on that page. That's it. And then and then I can help you integrate the domain. And then and then we'll just do the same. And, and all it is is integrating the domain and then doing exactly what we just did with this with all this. So so that web page, whatever that page is, copy the link, go and create a custom audience, put the pixel on the page, just like we did over here. So if anything, you could play this back. I'll send you this, this video, Let's play this yeah, one back. That's all you're do doing okay. is, is, is setting up the same thing. Um, but first, what you'll need to do, be, what you'll need to do first before you even set up the custom audiences is you'll want to click on the dots to the left, go back to the business settings, click on the dots. Oh, the, you're telling me you're doing it Yeah, go to the business settings. What you'll want to do before anything is you'll want to integrate the domain with Facebook. So... Mm, okay. um, so what you'll do to do that is you'll to the very left, you'll scroll down, go to brand safety, and then you'll click on domains. And then you'll just add that domain the same way we added this one. Mm -hmm. We went into GoDaddy, we we put a we put a, a, a piece of code that Facebook had you copy. And and you integrated it with with GoDaddy, you would just do the same thing here. So you'd hit add. Watch well, just do it right now for the hell of it and then just yeah. do add. And then just I, th put, I think the website is still in park. <laughs> that's fine. Just, that's, just, it'll be pending. That's fine. Just, just do this part real quick. Click on add. Okay. And then just type in your no www, just the URL. So type that in right there, sold by pro.com or whatever. Sold by yeah. And then you're gonna click on add domain. Do I need to do the dot com? Shit. Yeah, dot com. Put the dot com. Oh, hold on, sold by the pro dot com. I had to remember what it was. Okay. So add domain. And then now what you'll do over here is this will just be pending. So in GoDaddy, you'll just need to do this part. Um, and in fact, you know what? We can do this real quick before your website's even up. Your, it has nothing to do with your website. Let's just integrate it with GoDaddy real quick. Go to GoDaddy. Let me just tell you, show you how to do this. Thanks, Dave. So let's go to your domains or go to that specific domain actually. Here's the domain. Okay, so go to, yeah, go ahead and click on it. And then we're gonna scroll down yeah, click on, click on it. Yeah, the... yeah, click on it. The dot com. Click on it. The name. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> the name. Yeah, click, on click on the name. Okay, so scroll down, and now we're looking for manage DNS. So if you scroll down, actually, I think it was at the top. It's manage, manage domain. Click on manage, manage domain. Where do you say that at? To the right. Quick links. Manage domain to the right. Down. Down. I swear, oh, over here. Yeah, manage domain. Damn. So click on manage domain. And then um, we're looking for the DNS <laughs> settings. So that will be over here. Um, anymore. Try clicking it again. Yeah, um, actually it's, it's it's a drop down, and I think you gotta click click the drop down. So click on- Maybe um, I have so many. Click oh, on your, your name. You all domains, so let's yeah, do that. Yeah. Okay, so now that's going to bring you over here where you'll scroll down, scroll down to the very, very bottom, and you'll see manage DNS. Down, 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 down. Right there, manage DNS. So up, a little up, right there, manage right. DNS. Click on that. And so now what you're going to do is go back to Facebook real quick, to the do business what? setting, to Facebook business settings. Okay. Click on number one, click on that. Actually, you know what? Um, click on, um, okay, so we're... Click on, so add this meta tag to the head. Okay, so we don't want, go to, click on the very top, actually the DNS verification. So right there, DNS verification. Click on that one. Perfect. Okay, so number two, we need to copy that. Number two, Facebook. Yeah, copy. Perfect. Oh, actually, just click oh. on it. Yeah, you're fine. Just click on it. Just click on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's copied. Okay, so now go back to, um, to GoDaddy. 
And then right here, scroll down. And all we're going to do is we're going to add. So click on add. And we're going to, um, on the drop down, select, go to TXT. And then in the host, you're going to put the at sign. So just shift and number two. Yep. Perfect. And then the value, go ahead and paste in that link right there. Okay, cool. So save. Um, and then now let's go back to uh, Facebook, to the business settings, and just um, go ahead and click on verify. And sometimes you have to do it multiple times, but we'll see. Okay, scroll down. Scroll down a bit. It, it won't move. Um, do you have something below? Mm. Just click on the X, maybe X out then to the very bottom. No, very, very bottom. That yes. little X. Yeah, try doing that and then verify again. Yeah, that's fine. Verify again. Okay, cool. You're done. Okay, now refresh this page. And then that red dot will, will go green and you're good. So now that domain's integrated with Facebook and now you can use it um, for ads in the future. You know, just we just got to connect it to some pages or whatever, or connect it to your page. So in GoDaddy, so go back to GoDaddy real quick. What you'll do is just scroll down. What you can do is you can... Um, you can have it forward. You can have it forward to see that, that here's, here's, here's the, here's the challenge. Here's the thing. Here's the little roadblock. Here's the little ro roadblock. You can't just have it forward to that home snap website. So let's say the, let's say the home snap is, is homesnap.com forward slash Dorica Morrison right? Like, just like, just like any EXP <clears throat> site, just like your EXP KB core website would be, it'd be, it'd be like, it'd be something like kbcore.com forward slash Dorica dot, right? Like that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's their link. Mm -hmm. It's your name because it's your page, but it's, it's their link. It's their domain. Right. If home snap is the same way, then you may not be able to run ads on that name because okay. The website, you need to be able to integrate the domain to the website. So just like you integrated your domain to Kartra, now inside of Kartra, all the pages, I can edit, change out the link, and now it's my domain. It's next nextstepbroker.com forward slash free download. It's my domain. Right. You need to be able to do the same thing with HomeSnap. If you cannot, then you I don't think you can use this domain to run ads. Okay. So find that part out, find out because typically it would just be forwarding. Now you got your .com. When someone clicks on it, it forwards to your home snap and home snap owns that domain. So wherever it forwards to, they own that domain, not you. It's just simply forwarding, right? So you can do it in that case just for the hell of it. But to run ads, you may not, you may not be running ads on that name, which is no big deal. We'll run ads on this other one, mm -hmm. you know, next step realtor. But that's just a setup. That's just a setup. If you can change the full domain where, 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 it's, where it's sold by the pro.com forward slash whatever home, you know, and, and that's your home snap page, but it's your domain, right? Mm -hmm. Then you can, you can do it. But I wouldn't even worry about it. At least this part's set up in case you want to do something with it in the future. Mm -hmm. and, and in case you can actually change home snap to your domain, then, you know, then that'll be cool. But you have this next step realtor.com. So it's not a big yeah. deal. Yeah. Okay. But at least it's integrated for now. Yeah. I was just trying cool. to maximize everything that I have. Yes, you know? so, for sure. For cool. sure. So let me know if you need anything else, D. Mm -hmm. um, let's All chat right. next week. And, and what you should be focused on is that next video ad, like ad. The emails are one thing, but the actual ad, the actual ad, that's a one minute video, could be a two minute video, whatever. You're giving a tip on selling and the call to action to click learn more to download your free seller guide. That's what you should be focused on. Is, is, that. That, is that next ad, that <laughs> next video and, and keeping it simple. It's one video a week. You yeah. may not have to run one every week because maybe this week we're capturing leads and we're good. And we, we may not have to launch that next one, but you want to get in the habit of making a new video every week. A new yeah. video should go on that business page and whatever day, pick the day, pick the day. So whatever day you put up that next video on that business page, seven days later, there better be another one. Seven mm -hmm. days later, there better be another one. Even if you're not running them as ads just yet, get in the habit of doing a video every week. Okay. That's where people <laughs> drop the ball. That, they drop yeah, the ball I, because they don't retarget custom audiences and they drop the ball because they don't stay consistent with content. It's one right. a week, dude. It's freaking one a week. <laughs> yeah, right? you got me on that one. I'm like, so, okay. 
So one, one, one minute video per week, giving us a tip on selling with a call to action to click, learn more, to download your seller guide. <clears throat> so right. this could be it right here. This could be I'll it just, right here. Well, that's what it's intended for, but I'll, Perfect. I'll have another one. Done Perfect. So look, your day is Friday. Every Friday, there needs to be a new tip, seller tip video on this page. Okay. Every Friday, your day is Friday since that one went up, that one went up on Friday. This well, should be your next yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, it went Friday. up yesterday. Oh, it was Friday. God, I'm yeah. tripping. So every Friday, every Friday, every Friday, every Friday, every Friday by 10 a.m., there better be a new video on this page. Just like this. Seller tip, click learn more. Okay. Okay. Get in that habit. Just get in that habit. And this one, let's chat Monday, Tuesday, whenever you're free. Let's chat. And, and that's our next our next call is to run that as an ad. <clears throat> okay. Everything is set up. The custom audiences, the custom conversion, the pixel on the pages. Just make sure your funnel funnel is, is, is good to go. Make sure your emails are good to go. That right there is our next call. That's going as a as an ad. Perfect. Cool. Ready. All right, D. Have a great you, weekend. You, I'll you be too. messing away from anything. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye.